like people really want because whether we as a group would like to admit it or not nobody likes to feel isolated nobody likes to feel like wow I can't trust anybody nobody likes to feel like that you know a lot of people might act as if they feel like that and it's just because we came we became accustomed to being isolated and the goal was to have us segregated because at that point we'll be easier to control you know if we're all desensitized you know we wouldn't care about what happens to another person because we're stripped of that emotion you know there's no compassion there and the only way that we can protect ourselves as a whole from the devil entity is for us to have compassion for one another because if something were to happen to someone else you know that in reality that can be you as well you know and how would you want somebody to respond to you being violated or disrespected to you know in some in some capacity that you just know isn't right now like I said I want to talk about communication today and the lack of in life a lot of people feel like you know we have to suppress you know how we feel our emotions you know when we feel slighted and things of that nature and the only time we feel like we could communicate is when we're in good space but you have to understand communication doesn't have to be communication doesn't have to be as hard as we allow it to be it's just as simple as opening your mouth and speaking to somebody in a way that you want to be spoken to. That's what it boils down to. You know, the reason why it feels as if we're all in limbo, which is what we are, is because people are afraid of feeling as if they'd be inferior if they were to admit that they really don't know what's going on in life or which way to go. So the most common route that people take is ignorance. Hence the saying, ignorance is bliss. You know, because that's the easy route. That's instant gratification. You know, and when you rocking with the Lord or you claim you rocking with the Lord, he's not going to listen to that. You know what I mean? Because our God is an intellectual God. You know, he's going to ask you a lot of questions about your mischievousness and, you know, why did you do it? You know, what did you get from it? What was, what was going through your head when you did it? You know? And a lot of times, the reason why we can't come up with these answers and the reason why we disrespect and violate one another the way that we do is because we feel more than we can actually express. And people don't want to admit that. So this is why we, we, we stay in the limbo that we're in. The only way that we're going to ascend to the next level is if we start establishing communication the right type of communication not 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 bashing and slandering and backbiting and not not that not that's not communication that's that's the seven deadly sins that's what that is that's real life we all know what the seven deadly sins are is that not dominating society the seven deadly sins dominating society is just not a saying this is real life and once we start to live in real life and not in a fantasy, then we'll be able to communicate. And at the same time, we'll be able to demand respect because people, people will clam up to situations they're supposed to be vocal about. But then on the flip side, the man that you respect them. That's an oxymoron. That, 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 it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It's, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. It's like, it's, like, it's like a female in an abusive relationship with a guy, and he'll beat her up all day. He'll beat her up, you know, or a pimp. He'll beat, you know, if he's, if he's a gorilla pimp, you know, he might beat up on a chick all day. But then he'll come in the mix of a certain caliber of a guy that will make his heart quiver. You know what I mean? So it's like 
you won't put your hands on this guy. You won't even come at him in that capacity yet. You'll beat me to the floor. You know? But communication is the key to our our success in society. You know, we we you know, racism, things like that, you know, that's in the way of us ascending to the top, man. You know what I mean? And it's a good thing that that's not even the main conversation these days because it's just a waste of life. It's a waste of time. You know, what is the big deal with communicating how you feel to someone else? You know, a lot of times people feel roadblock with, with, with communicating their feelings because they feel like the only way that they can express themselves is if they get agitated and if they scream at somebody. No. If you claim that you're an adult, a mature adult who deserves to be respected, if you feel slighted by a situation, you pull a person that makes you feel slighted to the side and say, excuse me, listen, you know, when we experienced what we experienced, it left me feeling some kind of way about it. You know, not being funny, but I just felt, I felt slighted. And being as though, you know, we would have to be in the same space for whatever reason, it could be work or whatever the case may be, you know, why can't we get past this situation to prevent anything that ultimately none of us really want? I mean, at the end of the day, there's no fun in being a hater type, envious type, angry person. I mean, we only have one life to live. At what at one point at what point are you going to decide that you want to live life happy? Stress free. The only way that we'll reach that in reality is by being able to communicate. You know, society, we lack communication. You know what I mean? So everybody is just, you know, that's why so many followers in life. Because it's like a trend to be a whole nother way. It's a trend to 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 just like you know the actual people who are confident enough to be able to talk to people communicate their feelings it it always stands out there could be one in 20 people who who, who does that and everybody knows this person everybody like yeah you know i like the way what's the name expresses themselves they don't ever hold back or sometimes these are the people that society would try to alienate and say oh that person is weird oh that person is crazy why because this person is expressing themselves when everybody else is suppressing their expressions. So it's not that the person is really crazy. It's just that the person, they feel like the person is crazy enough to speak like that with, and risk being ganged up on by people who live a lie. That's basically what it really is. But this is real right season and we repping for God. Because that's how we rock. You know, as I said before, we didn't come from science, you know, because we would continue to evolve from science. It just doesn't stop. And then we just start evolving from something else. We just start evolving from women out of nowhere. But nobody can put one or the other together. You know, so, it, you know, everything that we do in life, we confuse ourselves. We know what it is. We know God exists. We know God put us here. Are you kidding me? So whenever things happen to us and we become the victims, it's because we're just being ignorant. Government? Like, come on. At the end of the day, the government know that God exists and they know that keeping secrets and things like that, they know it's basically to manipulate us because it's only two forms. There's only two types of secrets. It's a celebration of your life. You know, your birthday coming around, it's a secret, you know, people want to surprise you. Okay, that's a secret that'll be revealed like this and you'll see that it wasn't something to hurt you. But then you got the type of secrets that people want to keep from you. But why would you want to keep something from me if you're supposed to be a representative of me? So there's nothing good about it. So we all, I'm sure we all could agree that we all live a lie voluntarily. And if people... If the government or anybody else can see that you're willing to accept these lies as I keep bestowing them upon you, why not continue to do it? And that's what Lucifer is doing to us, but he's so feeble right now. And I know everybody feel it. You know why? You got so many authority figures, nurses, doctors, you know what they're doing? They're leaving their job because they're not getting something shot in their body. They don't care about the money like that. What good, are the, what good is the money going to be if you're dead 10 or 15 years from now from being ignorant, putting something in your body you really don't know 
what's in it. You really don't know what's in it. Your body is your temple. If you don't respect nothing else, you got to respect your body, man. That's the only, you know, that's the only way you're going to stay active in this game of life. And if you really don't care about living, then you might as well be a science experiment. Go there and tell them, shoot me up at every and anything because I don't care. But people got to start, if you say you care, we all got to start acting like that collectively. Each one teach one. All of us wasn't, we, we, weren't, we weren't born chiefs and Indians. That's not how it goes. We're all different and unique in our own ways. That's how God made it. Some people are a little more advanced than others, but that don't mean that you're better than them. They could be stronger than you physically. You know what I'm saying? So God balanced everything out to see how we will interact with one another, to see if we'll appreciate one another, to see if we'll love one another. He can snub out anything, anytime that he wants, but we're his creation. We're a project. He wants to see how we think. He want to see how we handle situations. And God don't scream. God whispers. And how do we communicate back to God? By maturing. When we start to change things in our life, when we start to acknowledge what hindrances are in our life, and we start to change those things, that's us communicating with God and us showing him that, you know, we're not about tainting society. We're not about tearing each other up. And we're showing through our actions. And he reward us by blessing us with things that we would want and things that we would like. Like, you know, here, you deserve that because you showed me through your own free will that you acknowledge where you were wrong and how you may have tainted the masses and you retracted your tentacles. And you chose a better route. And because of that, I'm going to reward you. That's communication. But that's something that we lack. At the end of the day, we are our own biggest enemies. We, it's just us on this planet. It's 7 billion of us. Everything that's going on on this planet is because either we did it or didn't do it. Nobody else is going to change anything for us in this mix of life. We got to change that. Simple as that. Either we let things be how they are or we change them. This is our planet collectively. There's no, yo, I'm this color, so I'm just going to live over here. Peace, love, and harmony. Everything will be okay. No. God put us here together for us to function as one. And until we can get that together, it's only going to get worse. You know? But thank y'all for tuning in, man. You know, of course, there's so much more we could talk about. But I want to, I wanna, you know, structure my segments a little more in a better way to where it's, the conversation could just, you know, be as as interesting as it always tends to be. Put it like that, you know. But big blessings to everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell a friend. We in this together. Peace.